through the middle of the week, we will start to see, you can see the drier air here, but we will start to see moisture getting pulled right back over us at the end of the week. These deep oranges are showing a lot of deep moisture, and so that will help to fuel some showers and storms. Probably from Wednesday afternoon all the way into the weekend, we'll have a little higher chance for rain. Now these actual rain uh, precipitation potential numbers will probably bounce up or down as we get a little closer. But for now, it looks like at least a pretty decent chance for those showers and storms. And of course, that usually means less hot weather as well. All right, in the tropics, done with that 93 L. We have one wave highlighted from the National Hurricane Center with a low chance of development, but only briefly in the next few days as conditions will not be very conducive. You can see our Euro model spinning maybe the tiniest bit up, but then as it gets toward the Caribbean, We'll probably encounter again some hostile conditions and fizzle. There may be another wave following behind that, so wouldn't be surprised to see this briefly highlighted. But both of these waves, as you continue to track them, they just kind of fall apart, at least right now, it looks like with the models. One thing we actually have going for us is generally some dry air and still some Saharan dust. So not the best conditions at this point, especially for those farther out waves to try to strengthen as they near the Caribbean and then uh, beyond that. So we'll keep an eye out for everything. Of course, needless to say, we'll watch everything. We'll watch those showers and storms with that slug of moisture heading our 